Hello and Asalaamu As Alaikum. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today we are back in the car because we are heading over to see Afsa's, well, and mine, I guess, Fufu, yep. right? Which is basically an auntie on the dad's side. So I am currently dressed in my kameez. I have my really, really gorgeous jewelry. This is from Jaws by Jazz. I actually bought this from Green Street last week, if you want to see that little vlog. Um, this gorgeous necklace and yeah. Beauty. I'm going to go to Bangladesh to do some shopping for Ramadan. So what kind of things are we going to get? We're going to get lentils, yeah. we're going to get chickpeas, we're going to get some ghee. We don't get samosas because mum makes the best yeah. ones, as you said. Um, um, uh, Zermoza, Zermoza samosas. Zermoza samosas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're going to get some meat, maybe. Yeah, and some meat. Hill, who's my dollabai? No, no, not my dollabai. No. Yeah. His no, dollabai. No, 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 no. Because I'm older. he's older. Oh, he's a dollabai. So he's, he's dollabai to brother, brother, uh, brother. But only the younger ones. Okay, so it's... <laughs> All right. So it's her zamai, <laughs> and then Amma, <laughs> and then obviously yeah. So yeah. Lassi, 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 light cheese. Making the best ones. Mm -hmm. What's the most important thing that we're buying? The dates. The dates. Yeah. And what? Which are the ones we have to get? I know, but I just want you the to The medjool dates. Medjool dates, yeah, because they're the most delicious, aren't they? Confession, I don't like dates. Do you not? No. <gasps> Why? Because they taste like chocolate. Yeah, they're like chocolate. Yeah, they're like chocolate. Yeah, they're like chocolate. Oh my god. What is that? Every Asian. This is what we all had when we were growing up. This is like... It's the thickest cream. Moisturizer you'll ever have. <laughs> is it good though? It's very good. Yeah. Eight ah. Go up on this. Oh, what does it do? What's it, what are the ingredients? Just the hair oil. I don't actually know, but I think my hair needs it now. Mum wants to buy it. Does it? They're not nice. The beautiful hair. Is it for the doll? Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Have you ever seen so many chickpeas in your entire life? No, okay. In Camden, one case is £11. So this is very cheap? It's for us. Ah, so get more. That's what we get in them, yeah. <laughs> How many is that? That's <laughs> 12. 12. For the whole 30 days. Wow. And two, two. Oh my goodness. I feel like we need another trolley. Yeah. And, and really, what do you make with the chickpeas? Curry chickpeas and yeah. you have it with the rice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the side. Can you believe how big these oil canisters are? I've literally never seen anything like it in my entire life. Like, for reference, this is my hand. <laughs> What's that for? Uh, lassi. To make lassi, you can have it with milk. Rice. Rice. Oh, yes. It's like the rice pudding type thing. Especially for Ramadan, it's easy. And as much rice as you could possibly ever want. Look at this. <laughs> and of course, in Budna. <laughs> What's gram flour? It's for all the pagodas that we make. This is flour. Which one's pagoda? Ah! Flour. Is it normal flour? Is it like a different type mm. of flour? Yeah. Different. different. It makes ah, it makes them crispy. It looks quite nice. Be nice. Do you reckon it would be? Ah, do you reckon the spiced tea would be nice? It's it. very authentic. Yeah. yeah, I can smell it actually. It smells really nice. Should we get this? No, you can, you can have it. Let's try it. Can. They honestly have everything. So <laughs> next to the light bulbs is the tea and the flour and also the sweets. I mean, what more could you want? There's absolutely everything. This is what we call the laddu, remember I told you? Oh, laddu. But these are the crispy ones. It's like Ooh, rice crispy. Rice balls. In like caramel syrup. Molasses, yeah, I've heard you say that Molasses actually. Mm. And they just roll it into a ball. It's a street, um, very popular street snack. So what do you have it with? On its own with a tea. Just, oh, like that, and you just bite it off. Tea, yeah. mm. so have you ever tried these? No. I feel like we need to get these some are... of this stuff to try because it looks good. These Maybe not that big, though. Really some... sweet, yeah. Yeah. And it's uh, tamarind. Tamarind? Yeah, the inside of a tamarind. Is it sweet? It's, sweet. it's like a. It's spicy. It's got. Obviously, these are um, flavoured with spice. What about the mango one? That looks quite nice. This is basically green mango uh, with um, chilli on it. It's meant to be really bringing. These are, Ooh, this what is are like, these? Mango belts. That looks nice. So yeah, these are basically like dried... Swow, sour. Spicy sour. and sour. Yeah. We need, do you know what we need to do? Is we need to come here one day and just get loads of stuff and then try it. Yeah, <laughs> we can do. These are very popular in Bangladesh. 
So mm. in, in the streets, you can buy these. Ooh. These are traditional mango bars. Do you want none? Yeah, let's try that. Prawn, massive. What's comp- that thing? There's like mixed ones in there. That looks fun. Mixed chutneys. So no, that's a tamarind balls. Tamarind balls. And the underneath, is that one? This one is a mixed chutney, so it's oh, tamarind and mangoes. Mm. So that's mango slices with chilli. Yeah. I made one from Nan from Bangladesh. Oh, uh, have you? So it's worth trying. Well, at your that. house? Yeah, so... We we'll try that instead. Tonight. And what's that, tamarind? Yeah, it's, it's basically, yeah. What's panipuri? <laughs> Here, to make sanasul or chanachur. <laughs> For all those haters in the comments, sanasul or chanachur. All the things that you could possibly need to make that. Salam. Sweet section always really gets me. Like that looks so good. This is his favourite, aren't they? Yeah. The cake, cake rusks. Cake rusks. The biscuits always look so good. Coconut, yeah, they're Ooh, what are these? Uh, these are biscuits. What are they like? Uh, they're nice. They're nice. They're like sugar sprinkles. They're sweet. It's like a pastry, hardened pastry with sugar. No, no, no. 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 Well, that's not mass, Asa, is it? Isa, 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 Isa. And then mass. Whoa, what is that? Uh, it's, it's a dried fish, but they've cut it up in like very... Wow. And uh, here you go, more. Yeah. Fish and prawns. And uh, all the chilies, chilies. What's that? Oh, they're beans. These are beans. So they're sprouts. Yeah. They roast them, do you they, say? They, yeah, they can roast them. Obviously chilies. Chilies, yeah. You know, the Bengali vegetables. Of course, there'd be chilies in Bangladesh. What are these? Uh, I've never seen these things in my life before. Slice of pumpkin. Ooh. These are like quite sour yeah, fruits. Yeah. They could put them in. Mm. Um, they could put them in curries. Oh, Bangladeshi lime. Yeah, lime lemon, or lemon. lemon. See? Bangladeshi lemon. I got you a biscuit. This is the big toys. Oh, the mass, the borough mass. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one that we have at home mainly. Milka, favorite fish. Yeah. Uh, we have a oribisi. Yeah. Tenga, lota, potato, mullah, mukhi, literally it, everything. everything. Doesn't it have? It, it doesn't have as much uh, bones in the bigger ones, right? The mirka, or no? No, it does. But it's mainly the stomach part that's got like not much bones. Uh, the two jelly parts okay. on the side. My husband's from Bangladesh. Of course, I go to Bangladesh and have to hold a massive fish. Very big lamb meat counter for all your needs. <laughs> literally a week ago, I we went shopping for parathas and we bought fifteen. And we have already pretty much finished all of them. So we're buying more. We're buying more. <laughs> because they are so good. I'm actually obsessed with them. So this, this is the good one. Ah, this looks nice. 20 pieces. Whoa, this, this should nice. keep us going for about a week. We have to find space in our freezer for that. I will find space, even if it means throwing out other foods. Paratas are taking priority. Ah, for Ramadan. Amas, pastry, <laughs> ready for samosas. These are the dal puri that we normally have. They are so good. Oh, these paratas have like fillings inside. This one is lentils, spices and herbs. And that one's potatoes with herbs and spices. Mm. So good, I just want to buy everything. <laughs> I'm impressed that you managed to get that all in one trolley rail. <laughs> you, you, you have to be careful. Carefully though, balanced. Right? <laughs> uh, yeah, me, of course, ready for Ramadan. There's Saluda, which is amazing. It's a very, very sweet drink. It normally has like milky. It's milky. Yeah, it's milky, and it normally has like little bits in it, doesn't it? Like tapioca. some sort. Tapi- is it tapioca? Is it? Tapioca. Ah, literally my favorite drink, especially the lychee flavor. They are so good. I'm obsessed. And then my favorite, which is not very healthy, the Madeira cake. The great thing about Bangla Town is all of the sweets are halal, which means we can get any that we want. I feel like within the next five years, I'm probably going to have these in my house at some point. Everything. Everything, exactly. You cook everything in. At Amma's house, lots and lots of pans for lots and lots of curry. When you're hosting a dawa, which is like a gathering or an invitation, you, this is what you need because it's probably 20, 30 people all in one house and you need a variety of these for all the different dishes. So yeah, 
I'm probably going to end up with these in my house at some point. Cardamom pods, of course. Make the chai tea. Obviously, the blue and white plates. Mom shopping. Amma. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Naga modis. Naga. <laughs> How do you pick the best one? Yeah, this is. It needs to be soft. So these are the fresh ones. Yeah. Why do you like the naga so much? I just love it. I love the vibe. I love, I love the smell. Thank you. A mixed curry powder, gram flour, and tinted chickpeas. I think we've had a pretty successful shopping spree. Ready for Ramadan. <laughs> Everything you could possibly need, plus some treats. Typical rainy London winter weather. Hi, baby. Hi. Hello. Thank you. Sure, man. Sure, sure, sure. But I don't even play Monopoly. You see the best game if you are impatient like me. A little fit check. So, this is the chemise that I was wearing today. This is my sister in law's chemise that she kindly lent me. We were both wearing black. How beautiful is this? I just love the details on the bottom. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> I'm wearing socks, so ignore that. But look how pretty. Come back to our flat. The stars just came. All the light shoes. I was joking earlier saying I need to get some blue and white face. Joking, but like serious. Like I want some blue and white face. I feel, I feel like I need to be part of the crew now. Stars was happy to get rid of these. But I'm very, very excited to receive them. I'm finally part of the Bengali crew now. I've got my blue and white face. Look how you've literally been kicked out of your seat. Literally. For this cat. <laughs> Honestly, Kobe, that's, that's a seed. Mm. Kobe? <laughs> what do you what do you call the cats? Auntie's angels. So every morning you wake up. Morning, Auntie's angels. Randomly, I'm just saying. Even in the afternoon, I'll say morning. So, most loved cats ever. So we're gonna try some of this. Kaya, Kaya, give me poor. Kaya, you're embarrassing me on YouTube now. <laughs> you think she never gets fed. She's literally never known what hunger is. Kaya! So I've just been told that I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> because it, I don't know if you can see that, but it's literally come out grey. It doesn't, it doesn't look appetising. So I've just been told that I need to put it on the stove and then put the tea bags in there, which sounds like a, a lot of effort, but we're going to do it because we've got to do it authentically. So just, boil. Yeah, so we've got a little bit of water that we're going to boil. We're going to add the tea bags. And let that brew. And then we'll add the milk in a bit. Start thickening up. See if you, how many you need, one or two, and then... You've had this more than I have. Well, I don't know. I've never tried these bags, though. I feel like three is quite a lot. Well, let's see anyway. We could add more milk to yeah, it. Yeah, true. Has it got any milk in there at the moment? I put some milk in already. Love the chai tea. We have made this before, haven't we? But normally with like, the cardamom pods and stuff. Not, yeah, proper one, yeah. Proper one. So this not, is the not, first not time. Not ready made. Mm, yeah. Through, but let's. The boys are in the living room <laughs> listening to some music, so I don't want to disturb them again. So I'm just going to try this in here. Yes, like I said, this is a mango bar. It's basically made of mango pulp. I imagine this is probably not very healthy at all. But let's go. Oh. Guys, this looks so nice. Look at hi, look. Wait. Mmm. <laughs> this is really nice. Mm. It just tastes like a sweet. It's like a very thick texture. And it is very mango-y, but it's honestly so delicious. We're gonna try some of the chai tea, spice, spice, spice tea. Chai. Asa's tried it already, and what, what were your thoughts? It's alright, it's nice and spicy, it's good. Oh, honey, so let's try. That's good. Oh, that is quite spicy, you know? Spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I think the homemade one is a little bit better. Maybe I think three tea bags was probably too much. Yeah. We're done, yeah. yeah. And that is the end of our very sporadic, chaotic, but kind of fun vlog. I hope you guys found it fun. I certainly did. I absolutely loved looking around Bangletown and just trying all the new things. If you have any recommendations of places to try, places to go to, please let me know because I am just loving this so much. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed our content and we'll see you again soon. Love you, bye.